sorry for the wait as we come to May 21st Tuesday. Yeah, we have Konami and Mio in front of us. I take out my bicycle from the storeroom and greet Konami and Mio who have been waiting. Wait, wait for a new cycle? Hmm, is it because out of concern for um, Yuri or something like that? Hmm. Well, I'll merely push it. Push it? Due to the multitude of hill roads, there is hardly an opportunity to actually use a bicycle, well, unless you're fit. The school itself may be on high ground, but the paths are full of hills, so it's not as comfortable as it may appear. Probably is to pass it to Yuri, I guess, so that Yuri can cycle. I mean, it'll be easier for Yuri to cycle here to here, because it's from the school to this home, it's downhill, right? But then going back is going to be a pain. <laughs> going back to school. Well, yeah. So it'll be nice for ch change of pace. Hmm. I dodged Mio's question with that big answer. Oh, sure. Yeah, sure. You can also put your bag there if you want, Mio. Okay. <laughs> oh, yours too? Sure. <laughs> It is. Accompanied by these two girls who have started the day in a cheerful mood, I make my way to school while pushing along my bicycle. Okay. Alright. After school, while each of us has been immersed in our respective work, Senpai suddenly demanded everyone's attention. Hmm. You need to confirm something? Is it regarding me and Yuri? Uh, but I know there's a banner called Love is Banner, right? just take it down already. <laughs> Don't know. I have no idea. After clearing her throat once, Senpai continues her speech with a solemn expression. Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, what's the... Okay, you still haven't explained... And you still haven't explained to us just what is wrong with having romance. Is it because it affects our work and all that? But you can trust us, right? You can trust all of us. We are... Big, we are a happy group. <laughs> I mean, we are a uh, trustworthy group, you know. <laughs> I noticed T Tsukishima catch her breath in response to Senpai's declaration. Oh yeah, there was that thing. Yeah, the love was, is banned. I furtively steal a glance at the love is banned notice. With love as the root cause, both the student council and the PMC end up with manpower shortage. The regulation that forbids love was installed in order to prevent another case of that. Yes, we know that. <laughs> Tsukishima anxiously looks at me, considering that she herself showed a particularly strong adverse attitude towards romance. It makes telling the truth all the more difficult. Close our eyes. So, hmm, okay. For now, I just do as she wants. I guess it's smart of Aunt to actually ask everyone to close their eyes so that when they raise their hands they won't have they won't feel embarrassed or something like that, you know? Gotta say, that sure is some classical method. It's fairly obvious that everyone will check out who it is with half open eyes. Yeah, so at least when we raise our hands, only Aunt will know, right? So we yeah, don't want the others to know. So it's kept a secret, something like that. There's no way there could be someone naive enough to fall for it. With that conviction manifesting in my mind, I slowly open my eyes on the choir. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the 
Looks like Yuri is the only gullible one. The rest all open their eyes. <laughs> uh, Yuri, why are you so gullible? She fell for the lie. Tsukishima was gingerly raising her hand. She's so honest. On top of that, everyone is gazing at her with their eyes open. Well, I'm in the same boat as them, so I'm not ready to want to judge. But these guys are pretty cruel. <laughs> but it looks like Aunt's okay with it, despite the love is bad banner or something. <laughs> yeah, you've been food, Yuri. <laughs> Why, Yuri? Why? <laughs> Even in this kind of situation, she's raising her hand in a straight, exemplary manner. I guess you could say that she's really too diligent and honest for her own good. But seeing that, it's rather smile provoking in its own right, because that's who she is. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think you know. <laughs> I mean, there's like two boys here. It can't be so right, so it can only be one more person here. <laughs> As she says so, she throws a quick glance at me. Yeah, sure you are. To begin with, she's supposedly the one who told Konami about it. And then we have Tsukishima who's still unable to grasp the situation. I mean, I'm so aware of it, right? So... Well, as long as we behave, I hope. You no, know, Aunt can grant us the, that our love. You no, know, just take down the love is bad banner just like you did in Konami's route. <laughs> Konami, don't lie. Oh, okay, everyone's pretending not to know. Okay, that's good, that's good. <laughs> okay, we all don't know. You two don't have to play along on top of things. Tsukishima, you can open your eyes, you know. I'm not raising my hand. <laughs> it's okay. Just open your eyes. Come on. Tsukishima's eyes blink in surprise as she surveys her surroundings. And we on the other hand, were all gazing at Tsukishima. No, it's more like everyone knows that it's a lie. <laughs> So this happens when her patience snaps. <laughs> Pretty nasty. However, it's true that we basically kept it a secret from everyone. So Tsukishima too doesn't have the right to complain here. Well... <laughs> Her eyes ask me what she should do as she looks at me. Although it doesn't seem like she wants to fool them. You'd be rather pathetic as a guy to push this all to her, yeah? Might as well just admit it. I'm dating Tsukishima. Sorry for keeping it from you until now. Okay, Hana told her, I mean. Okay, that's fair. I mean, it may seem like, oh, Anna betrayed us, but I mean, this is something that we have to tell the rest sooner or later, right? Because it was Hanako who leaked the info. But how about both of us get punished? <laughs> no, I will. Okay, don't, don't push. Let's both do it. Yeah, let's both take, take the punishment. You're letting Kona me decide? Senpai gives Konami a signal with her eyes as she asks her. So, 
こうしてしまえばいいかと。What do I? Oh. Now it's Konami who takes down the fan. <laughs> She casually peels off the love is bad notice and crumples it into a ball. <laughs> Konami <laughs> san? So I let Konami do the thing. But actually, to be really honest, what even is the point of the love is bad letter? When we, when both of us, both of us get fall in love in the end, and then now we take it down. <laughs> I think the love is fan banner is kind of dumb. It's not even necessary. Arara, これは大変なことになっちゃったわね。みおちゃん、ここに何て書いてあったんだっけ<笑> ？Okay, pretend we don't know. What was it now? Huh? え、えっと、一日一年ですか<笑> ？Yes, yes, yes. Do a good deed each day, or an apple a day keeps the doctor awake. そう、一日一年。いいことした後って気持ちがいいよね。<笑> What if this t h r e play? Yeah, this is terrible. But, <笑> but hey, 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 we can always pretend. The conduct makes Tukishima and me spontaneously exchange glances. That means now love is approved. <笑> I, so till now, I still don't understand why the love is bad banner is even there. For the fun of it. <笑> I mean, maybe initially was to like, to you know, to control, make sure that nobody falls in love, and fo actually focus on their student council work. But if they're only going to take down the love is bad banner in the end, then what even is the point of the love is bad banner? <laughs> the notice. What even is the point? I don't know, man. Thanks, senpai, and everyone too. <laughs> ありがとうございます。え、ありがとうございます。何のお礼かわからないけど、どういたしまして。あ、でも二人とも恋人ができたからって、勉強でも風紀員の仕事でもサボったりしないようにね。We definitely will not trust us。そうそう。俺たちは生徒みんなの代表として、yeah. ここに集まってるわけだしな。That's right。わかっています。節度は守っていきますので心配しないでくださいうん信じてるからね OK and with that we became an officially recognized couple in the student council oh yeah with our work activities over the time for my bicycle to shine has finally arrived yes yes what are we going to do though are we going to like ride Uh, right on the bicycle, Yuri, around the school premises or something? Huh? Oh, maybe it's like you come to my place and stay overnight? Yeah, makes you feel a bit lonely to always park at the school gate, right? I brought my bicycle, so how about you come along? Oh, who cares about rules right now? Yes, in case you all don't know, in Japan, There is this rule about bicycles that you can't have、uh, two more than one person riding on a bicycle. Yes, it's actually illegal, but you can still do it. Just don't get caught. <laughs> yeah. Of course, we won't do that. I never thought she would agree to something that's technically against the law in the first place. You sit on the rack and I'll push it. That way, there's no problem, right? <laughs> Yeah, just for you, my girl. <laughs> you went to my place just so we can go to school together. It's the least I can do in return. Oh, you want to walk with me? I think walking is definitely more romantic than cycling. No, actually, both can be romantic. It's just that it's because in Japan you can't ride. Ah,、uh, you can't have two persons riding on a bike, right? Bicycle, right? Yeah, but that doesn't mean you can't do it. Just don't get caught, like I said. But Yuri is a stickler for rules, so well, I guess we just have to, walking will be the or be the better option. It looks like she feels slightly bad about it, but I'm really happy that she clearly states what she wants. I see. Then let's do that. So what about the bicycle? We're gonna push it back. Okay. We stroll on the evening promenade. At this time of day, there aren't that many other people around anymore. 
Not even in it. Sorry. Not even in the evening. I mean, this this place is a beautiful site for for a scenery, you know. But evening, no people. Kind of a waste. Unless I bet this is the kind a perfect place to also have fireworks. I would say. Uh, nothing special actually. You, you curious? Okay. Okay. But why are you so far away from me? <laughs> what do you mean? That's how it's always was with your parents. You're, I'm not your parent. I'm your boyfriend. So we should be closer together. <laughs> mean how it was common practice in the old days for a woman to physically express her unconditional support from the back by walking behind her husband? Oh, there is such a tradition in the past, Japanese tradition, I guess. Well, I guess Yui wants to stick to that tradition. If that's the case, I'm, I'm fine with that. That's an old-fashioned mindset that's encountered rarely nowadays. I suppose that had some influence on Tsukishima too. Be that as it may, it's more comfortable to talk when you're next to me, don't you think? We're in the modern times too, you know. Alright. Of course it is. Let's walk side by side. Slightly embarrassed, Tsukishima lines up next to me. So, tomatoes was it? I, I I do like tomatoes, just so you know. I mean, as a kid, I used to not really like tomatoes because of how sour, how sour, soury like. It's like how sour. It's not really sour, but it's kind of like sour. Yeah, but over time I got used to it and I kind of like it now. <laughs> yeah, but it has that kind of the sour taste, you know. Nah, I just overrate them. Overrate them. Oh, you mean over eight, not overrate. I'm sorry. Wait, you said over over eight? Um, you over eight them, huh? Uh, let's forget that again. At the beautiful lake, it makes for quite a picture with the setting sign in the background. You're gonna dodge the topic. What do you mean you over eight? Yeah, I want to know too. So it appears she's more interested in my little tomato history than in the beauty of the lake. Well, it's well, the lake it has nothing to do with you, Yuma. <laughs> it seems I can't escape this. When I was a kid, I didn't hate them. Konami used to dislike that unique grassy taste they have to them, though. Does it taste grassy? No, it doesn't really taste grassy. But now it's more like she actually enjoys eating tomatoes. So role reversal. <laughs> As I just said, I overate. In addition to Konami, there was also many other kids in the elementary school who didn't eat tomatoes. So wait, so because a lot of kids don't eat tomatoes, so they push all the tomatoes to Yuma. <laughs> That's why he, he has come to hate it because too much, too much tomatoes. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, why would they force all the tomatoes on you, Yuma? You could, like, you could have just rejected them, but I guess he's the kind soul, so he just ate all of them. Saying they would want me to eat them in their states. They showed their tomatoes onto me whenever they were part of the school cafeteria menu. And one day, that seriously upset my stomach. And just because of that, you hate it. It's just because you overate. <laughs> and since that day, well... Thinking back, in fact, it likely might have been something else that upset my stomach. Yeah, like, I don't think it's the tomatoes. This <laughs> is kind of funny, you know. I can eat ketchup just fine, though. Precisely, right? Well, ketchup is different because ketchup has the sweetness. It's added with sugar and that, all sorts of things. It's not the same as eating raw to It's not the same as eating tomatoes themselves. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to think that, you know, because tomato ketchup is sweet, right? So I thought tomatoes themselves are sweet. 
from and actually try them. Yeah, they aren't really sweet. They aren't sweet at all. Beyond um, silly. Yeah, I mean, so you still hate tomatoes because of that now? It's, it's please for me if you enjoyed this little story. Alright, now let me ask some questions about you. So why do you become... Maybe like one thing I want to know is... Why do you become a waitress? Because you love the job and that sort of thing? As she says so, I realized that the color of embarrassment had already faded from her face at some point. Hey, not fair, you should tell something about you. <laughs> tell me something about you. Like what, for example? Dream. To be frank, I can't quite remember what dream I had when I was a kid. I have like, maybe like all sorts of dreams. Like, things like I want to be a policeman, I want to be a fireman, I want to be a teacher. They are those standard professions. I didn't really spend an adventurous childhood as well, tell me. You sure? What about your adventure? What about your childhood meal? <laughs> she asked in a sugary sweet voice. <laughs> oh, and on top of that, gazes at me with after eyes. Being back in that manner, I can't possibly refuse. I just can't say no to you. Oh, you're so cute. I can't refuse, right? Yeah. Dashed over by the wind blowing from the sea. She continues to ask me all sorts of things about my childhood days, which I can't really answer. Why don't you ask questions, Yuma? You can't just let the girl ask questions. Don't let the girl control the conversation, you should control the conversation too. It's slightly embarrassing, but even so, it's funny in its own light. <laughs> Did I say something funny? So cow and cute kid. <laughs> I didn't I don't really know much about Yuma's childhood, that's the thing. So probably we'll find out in Mio's route because Konami, Konami's route didn't really reveal much about Yuma's childhood either. Yeah, so not even Konami's childhood actually, I mean just a bit here and there, but didn't really co cover Konami's past either. Is that implying I grew up to be an oddball? Thanks for the compliment, Yui. <laughs> is that supposed to be a compliment? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. The cheerful Tsukishima suddenly directs her eyes to the thing. Okay, now our focus is on the lid. <laughs> Yeah, true. I halt my steps and gaze at the lake together with her. Rather than walk apart from each other, it's nice how you can see the face of the other person when you're next to each other, don't you think? Yeah, the reflection. As I say so, I gently take her hand. Then, I grasp it tightly, closing the lock. Yeah, so that only you can free me. <laughs> or, or rather, only you can unlock me. Oh come on, don't worry, I'll lift your face up and you look at me. A reaction like that makes me want to take a peek at your face. I'm not being mean. <laughs> I just want to see your cute face. With bright red ears, Tsukishima turns away from me. But that reaction stirs my desire to tease her a bit. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, it's beautiful, but you're more beautiful. <laughs> it's a perfect line to say, yeah, the lake is beautiful, but you're more beautiful. <laughs> Always works. In my eyes, you're even more beautiful, you see. There we go. <laughs> you must say it. Oh, 
why? Why can't I say that while we're holding hands? It makes it all the more perfect. Really, she's just too adorable. Yeah. Okay. Yeah? And why do you look sad, Tina? <laughs> you on the other hand seem rather down. What's the deal? What do you mean you have lots of things to worry about? It may be because of her pajamas, but it doesn't look as serious as she makes it out to be, actually. I'm pretty sure he is, yes. Quite a question of a sudden. Are you questioning about this because of what you saw, you know, saw of Mio that she's sad? There's no point in asking that. There is an absolute difference between looking at it from your observer's perspective and experiencing it yourself. So what you hear from someone else can never truly be an answer to what you want to know. That's how it was for me. Everything I heard during all the counselling I did was basically not applicable to Tsukishima and me. Yeah, I mean, you can do all the consults you want, you can be a love guru, you can give advice to all sorts of people, but when it comes to your own love, it's a different thing, <laughs> you know? On the other hand, there are also lots of instances that make you go, Oh, so this is what that was all about, and easily come to an understanding of something you couldn't quite grasp before. Do you have a guy you love though? Yeah, I guess. Though whether that will be possible for her, considering that she isn't even human, is a question that remains unanswered. I wonder if there's... Oh, no, wait. There are male soul reapers, right? There's, there is Hubarion. <laughs> but, um, no. Hubarion is definitely not anyone's type. <laughs> it is, yes. As she says so, Tina is about to make herself comfortable in my bed. By the way, I won't sleep together with you from today on at, or at, uh, from today on anymore. Got it? <laughs> Who cares about your spots? <laughs> Those are part of your cow pajama designs. Yeah. Oh, you mean these spots? I thought you were talking about some other spots, but anyway. <laughs> Explanation? Because I'm dating now, so I can't have a third girl, you know, in 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 play or something like that. Involved, I mean. And Yuri also said, Tina, I shouldn't sleep with Tina. I have a girlfriend now. Is there a need for any other reason? <laughs> I never said I'm gonna throw you away though. I have no such intention. And besides, our son is going to sleep together with you. So where is the problem? Yes, our son is all that you have. She sure is fast to shift gears, as always. <laughs> what do you mean by... Aoi-san's chest being fluffy, not being fluffy, but uh, Konami-san's chest is being fluffy. What do you mean by that? Are you talking about the boobs or something? Make sure you never ever mention that in front of Aoi-san. So you're saying Aoi-san's boobs are small. Bad girl. Sure, sure. <laughs> I can't bring myself to believe that even in the slightest. I'll, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, occasionally. Man, what a spoiler. Eh. Yeah. What? What? What's going on? Suddenly the depressing music again. It's become the May 22nd Wednesday. Wait, don't tell me the rumors of have already spread rumors of 
but it's not really rumors, it's true. Don't tell me this um, Yuri and Yuma's relationship has spread, yeah, the information has spread to the others. What's this? Wait, what is this? What, what? PN PMC man? Huh? Uh, on the bulletin board next to our classroom, a sheet of paper was hung up, reminding me of the whole wanted poster audio. Who posted this though? Wait, did Hanako write this? If she wrote this, why did she do it? Huh? Don't know, but I can tell for sure that Hanako didn't write this. It's crudely made and doesn't have the student council's approval stamp. So who did this? Even Konami's and my wanted posters were at least well formatted and generally nicely made. Yeah, who is this? Who the hell put this? Put this? Poster, I'm gonna slap whoever put this. <laughs> Even if it's a girl. I mean, because I have Yuri now. What's this? Draw the arrow. Okay, why is this guy around the Iron PMC man? Whatever. And Yuri seems kind of shocked. Yeah, she hasn't said a thing. I suppose it's pointless to tell her not to let it get to her. Yeah. I guess someone saw it together. I hope this won't lead to some sort of harm at the very least. But now the rumors have spread. No relationship. Uh, yeah, because of that poster. But there's nothing wrong, right? We will keep it under control, don't worry, are we? Oh wait, only Yuri is here, I thought Yuma is here too. Okay, so in Yuri's perspective. Truth of the matter. The truth of the matter is yes, we're dating. Nothing to hide about that. Okay, but are you somehow against Yuma dating? あの記事の内容が本当でも先生はいいって思うのただただ分かっていますああいった記事を書かれるのは私自身に好きがあったからでただ二度とあのような噂が立たないよう気持ちを引き締めていこうと思いますあ、えっと、そうじゃなくてね。噂の相手って、うちのユウマ。朝葉君じゃないよね。Why do you seem like you're against it, Aoi? I don't, I don't get it. Huh? Is there something wrong with that? そ、そうなの？本当に。Okay, so it's not for serious reason. It's because of Aoi's nature. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I, I was wrong to think that it's serious. <laughs> See, because now she's freaking out again, just like she was in Unsfruit. Sorry. <laughs> 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 ご挨拶に伺おうとは思っていたのですがその通りです私ユーマさんとお付き合いをさせてもらっていますオーライトアウィドンフリックアウトナウドンフリックアウトナウもちろん節度をわきまえた関係ですウーキーンとして恥ず
uh, like she wants to freak out, but she can't because of how serious Yumi is, right? How you better not say no? Uh, yes, she's Yumi's not suitable. You better not say that. But I don't think she's. I don't think I'll even say that. Yes, that means uh, he'll be he'll be separated from you soon, Aoi. So <laughs> don't worry, you. It's just that you know the thought that uh her son is gonna go away. You know now has found a girlfriend means less time spent with Aoi. Yeah, it's, it's it makes her sad. It makes Aoi sad. <laughs> well, but I mean this just goes to show how loving our how we is as a mother, right? Yeah. What? What do you mean? I read what I saw. <laughs> what? Hanako dropped by the student council room to bring some PR related photos which she took. At that time, we asked her about this morning's case and shortly received that jeering reply. Hmm. Wait, you must not hear? Okay, she's he's here. <laughs> That's why I was like, why, why are they like speaking in third person? Yeah, but I mean Japanese, they tend to like, yeah, they don't, they hardly tend to say you or he, what? Yeah, it's more polite to say the person's name. Yeah, but that isn't really natural in English, so yeah, it depends on the context. You're quite a noisy girl, but you never fail to go through the proper channels, right? At the beginning, with the quality of your articles is clearly higher. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense because who else would write that kind of poster, right? I mean, first thing they would think of is the newspaper cup, but yeah. It seems our homeroom teacher is questioning her about it. Yeah, asking whether Yuri and you are dating. Who could it be? I mean, I don't know anyone who would, who would actually do that. Could it be now, but I don't think so. Why would now do that? And it definitely can't be Aoi. Well, I guess. みおちゃんなんて逆に愛されてると思いますし。うん、ディフェンスにみそ doesn't really fit uh, the, the image of the PMC member. Anyhow, if it seems like the culprit wants to stir even more trouble, we need to think of a counter plan. Hmm. What counter plan? Yeah, I'm pretty sure now is not a culprit and unlikely. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> I hold it a good woman. Yeah, yeah, Yumi is cool. But I accidentally skipped one line, so so even you know about it, huh? Tsukishima, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about 
辱的なので名前で呼んでください<笑> No one's talking about you, Hanako. Relax. Hanako って言うな Oh, it's been a while since she said that. <laughs> it's been a long while. There's one line, yeah, it's been a long while since I heard her say that. There was one line before where, I mean, there are quite a number of lines, in, like in the individual heroine's roots, where Yuma called her Hanako, but she, like, doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> now she minds. Anyways, the question I'm asking myself right now is why Hanako has also come to the infirmary? I had some free time on my hands today, thus I came to help out around here. But it's seriously uncomfortable with the both of them constantly taking dicks at me. I'm not yet now. Not yet. <laughs> soon, soon. Man, don't be so vulgar. To begin with, Tsukishima is so innocent that simply holding hands is almost unbearably embarrassing to her. <laughs> and saying this right in front of her elder, of Yui's elder sister. Hey! Okay, I'm gonna prove it to you now. Okay, I'm gonna move beyond kissing, alright? <laughs> well. Uh, why do you look so excited? <laughs> Leave me alone! I don't see why I have to tell others about our love life. That's not just on my hands in the first place. Besides, nothing could will come of it if you rush this kind of thing unnaturally. That's why I am a smooth talker. Yuma is a smooth talker. Huh? Or some all and kissing is one level above. Okay, I mean, well, she not using someone else's chopsticks or spoon. That's hygiene, I guess, right? Is that so? That's news to me. Oh my god, no kissing before marriage, no sex before marriage, yes, but no kissing before marriage, that would be like torture. Right, knowing her, that's easily conceivable. What? What do you mean putting obstacles in my way? Oh, okay. Already grim, wow. Already grim enough, even without you putting obstacles in our way. Okay. Don't worry, we'll overcome this. Just you wait. It appears that Hanako doesn't feel like really giving her sister her blessing. Yui? Hey, Yui. Yeah. Yeah, we're just talking about you, Yui. <laughs> Hey, I never said that, Hanako. <laughs> I never said that. Don't put words into my mouth. Don't take her seriously. I didn't say anything remotely close to that. More importantly, do you feel bad or something? Oh, so you came to see me. Uh, oh, I'm so touched, Yui. Embarrassed, she nods with flushed cheeks, and that makes Hanako angry for some reason. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Makes sense. Tsukishima. Ah. Wait, 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 wait. Oh. How, how is it that you have contraceptives here? <laughs> for L, I mean, <laughs> I mean, okay, for a nurse, yes, but still, <laughs> let's talk in the hallway. <laughs> Goodbye, you two. 
it doesn't seem like we'll be able to hold a proper conversation here. Quite a day it was today. Yeah, we haven't found the culprit yet. Again? Again? Why are you saying sorry? Stop apologizing. And hey, you caused no trouble? Trouble? But that's not your fault, Yuri. <laughs> it's the one who put the poster that's at fault. There's no regulation that says that the PMC chairman must not fall in love, right? What's more important is that I'm happy that we saw each other before going home. Oh, you will again with her, you know, her pessimism. We have to like, we need to really do a lot of work, you know, to like cheer her up, you know, be positive around her, you know, like really motivate her. Don't mind it. It wouldn't be good to go overboard either because, but you play right into the culprit's hands and let it influence you. Yeah, don't be pessimistic. It's, that's just what the culprit wants. We have, you have to be strong. Well, obviously, it'd be rather embarrassing if you constantly flaunt about how much you love in school, though. So, there's a need for balance. But actually, I'd rather that she flaunts <laughs> about it. Why not? I know. I was just kidding. I love you too, Yuri. Hearing her say that while she directly gazes at me causes my heart to skip not only one beat, but two. I suppose it wouldn't be very manly to only let the girl say it. Yeah, you have to say it. Say it too. I love you too. Alright, next case. <laughs> we gazed at each other and at the same time, smile surfaced on our faces. Alright, nice one.